All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the... I don't know what you want to call it, the championship round. I would assume that means both teams are tied for first place, and whoever wins this gets first place and the $50 prize. Um, whoever gets second place gets, I believe, a $20 prize. So let's take a look at the action here on Greece. We've got Rubber Band Man in the Cossack Black. Snob 3 in a Massachusetts Black. Camelos 53 in the Synop. Snapper 97 in the Dunkirk Black. Casualty Drinker in the Massachusetts Blacks. So this is the same lineup that we saw them play earlier. They seem to like this lineup a lot. Now, TDF also in the same lineup we saw them play earlier, ironically enough, on this very map. We've got RR Onisan in the Eagle. Batmantis in the Renowned 44. Lakshim in the Flandre, Wicked Little Witch in the Massachusetts, and Sideshow in the Massachusetts Black. Ah, so the last game, I guess they set the wrong map and nobody noticed it. Until five minutes. Odd. Um, anyway, now... TDF going for the same strategy we saw them do before, sending an Igo and Renown to the A cap and the rest of their ships to the C cap. But if you look, OK is doing a different choice. Now, the idea of an Igo going to A is fine if nobody from the enemy team goes to A. Casa going to A is a is a really good counter. And I feel like these two ships are just gonna sit here for a very long time. Batman just realizing this is not gonna be the same kind of game, being forced to back off. So that means that these three battleships are going to have to find a way back in. They're gonna have to push or something. God, I'm getting more flashbacks to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy now. But anyway, Rubber Band Man goes into the center of the A-Cap. He's got the Hydro, so it's going to be really hard for anybody to take him down. Um, so I guess the question is going to be, what is that flank going to do now for TDF? Camelos 53 detected now in the Synop. Not much. Now, knowing that that Synop is there, I might be sending Batmantis as far over on the flank as possible. Like, over to here. Because over to here, I mean, whatever his range is, gives him a chance to try to hit the Synop on the side if the Synop continues to back up. See how he's backing up right now? That's what you want to happen. You want him to back into your cross shots. Those torpedoes come very close to over Batman. Decent hit there on a flagship. Big hit there. Rub Bandman taking some hits. Came out there. Got himself shot at. Backed off. Smartly so. I'm curious though. Look at this. We've got Snob going very wide in the Massachusetts. The other Massachusetts going wide as well. Batman just broadside to Massachusetts. That's not a good thing. It goes being forced all uh, back. Emoji, thank you for joining us and telling us a little bit, uh, giving some context in that game. That that definitely helps. Snapper in the Dunkirk Black is in trouble. I do like this little battle line that's been formed here. It's kind of nice. All right, TDF claims first blood, killing uh, K oh, OK's uh, low tier ship. 
Now, Rubber Batman is going to get the cap on the account that Ara was forced out of the cap for a moment. Casual T-Drinker continues to be farmed by the Eagle. Is he going to take a torpedo? He does. He takes a torpedo in the bow. Eagle continues to put down some hurt on him. Sin up. Armalos very low now. Backed up too far. And down he goes. So that leaves one battleship on that flank to deal with three battleships. I'm sure he's having fun. Casualty Drinker slowing down. Uh, looks like he is flooding though. Interesting, his uh, it looks, he's got like the animation, looks like he's flooding, but his hit point pool is not changing at all. Very odd. Now, watch this. Rubber Band Man is going to run down Onisan's Igo. It's going to completely surprise him. He's not using his Hydro yet. I think he's waiting on purpose. And Igo's smoke is expiring. Torpedoes miss. And this is the point where Onisan realizes he's in trouble. The first salvo takes out his engines from Rubber Band Man. The second salvo, another, or third, takes out the engines again because of a DCP. Tea Drinker takes one Eigel Torpedo and kills Onisama. Onisan. Rubber Band Man does take a big, big hit though. And remember, he doesn't have a heal with that Cossack, so he's going to be forced to smoke up. He's going to start trying to farm for free because I think those two realize that they're up against the clock here as Snob. Honestly, if I'm TDF, I'm just going to send uh, Flaxham just straight at snob even if it results in a in a ram uh, but wicked little witch coming around the corner she's doing a nice job of of uh getting on snob's broadside forcing snob forward is t-drinker gonna flood out no he saved the ship at seven thousand hit points snob now going for possibly the drive-by he's going for the drive-by is Flaxham ready for this? I don't think so. Shells in the air and they all miss. Flaxham's not ready for it. His turrets are totally not turned properly. So what he needs to do now is he needs to straighten out. But he doesn't. He continues to turn and Snob kills him with the butt gun. That should not have happened. Oh well. Two minutes to go in this crucial championship game. TDF... In the lead by 50 points. We gotta kill Snob. There it goes. And with that, unless TDF does something seriously bad to throw this game, they've won the Alpha Test. Very impressive. Tea drinker, uh, just trying for something. Um, and they do hit, but I'll tell you, it doesn't matter. One minute to go. Look at the points. There's just no way for Team OK to get back into this. Very well played by both sides. Rubber Batman's gonna go into the sea cap. Now that um, does slow down the point bleed, but it doesn't matter. With 24 seconds to go, this game is pretty much over. Rubber Batman now just opening up with his guns. 
Tea Drinker fired at Wicked Little Witch. She fires back. And that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the Massachusetts Black here. And that will be game. So congratulations to OK for uh, winning the alpha test.